The third test run of the Najin Hassan project, a trilateral trade venture between the two Koreas and Russia, kicks off today. And once the project launches in full, most likely next year, it's expected to be a boon for inter-Korean ties. Agwansua has this report. A two-week test run of the Najin Hassan project kicks off Tuesday, following earlier tests in November 2014 and April of this year. During the test, 120,000 tons of Russian coal and 10 containers of Chinese drinking water will be transported from North to South Korea. The load will be transported via a 54-kilometer cross-border railway that runs between Russia's border town of Hasan and North Korea's port city of Najin. The goods will then be transferred to two 45,000-ton bulk carriers and a container ship for the final destinations of South Korea's port cities of Pohang and Busan. According to Seoul's Unification Ministry, roughly 20 government officials and businessmen, including groups from South Korean steelmaker POSCO, train operator Corail, and Hyundai merchant Marine, will be crossing the Russia-North Korea border on Tuesday for on-site inspections that will continue until Friday. The test run is very meaningful, as it could become the starting point for more economic cooperation, not only with North Korea, China and Russia, but reaching into Europe too. Apart from the economic benefits, the project is also being seen as a way to strengthen inter-Korean ties, as the project is an exception to the May 24 economic sanctions imposed on Pyongyang after the sinking of the South Korean naval vessel Cheonan in 2010. If all goes well, the project is expected to officially kick off next year. The project was first proposed in the 1990s, but is also part of South Korean President Park Geun-hye's Eurasia Initiative, which he has promoted since 2013, a plan to link transport and energy infrastructure from Asia through Russia and into Europe. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.